Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com and this is the next video in the Android Car Tablet Infotainment System series. Today we're going to talk about sound. How to hook up your car tablet uh, to your car sound system. Now it, you might think to yourself, why do I need to watch this video? That's stupid. That's a no-brainer. But it's not necessarily a no-brainer. There are different things to consider. I'll tell you up front, I do not use Bluetooth to connect my tablet to my car system. And there are a couple of reasons for that. But Bluetooth is an option. So let's talk about what your options are. Of course you can uh, hook your tablet up to your car via Bluetooth. But whether you do that or not may depend partially on your stereo system. My stereo in my car, for example, I can only have one device hooked up to the car system via Bluetooth. So if I have my tablet hooked up through Bluetooth, guess what? I can't have my phone hook up through Bluetooth. If my phone isn't hooked up through Bluetooth, then I can't take phone calls through my car system. And that's one of the main things you want to do as part of your overall car infotainment system. If someone calls you, you don't want to have to pull out your phone because that's illegal in a lot of states anyway. You want to be able to just answer it through your car system. So you can't use the blue if you can't use the Bluetooth for both then that rules out using it for your, your tablet. Now some cars, some modern cars, do have the option to have one device hooked up to your Bluetooth as uh, for phone calls, but have a separate device hooked up to your Bluetooth for media only. And if you have a car that has that feature, then you could hook your tablet up to your car's Bluetooth as media and have your phone hooked up as well, and that would work for you. Um, but chances are, if you have a car that has that kind of advanced system, you probably already have an infotainment system built into it, and you don't want an Android car tablet. Um, although, maybe you do, because there are some cool things you can do with a car tablet you can't do with a lot of those built-in systems. So that is an option. Uh, but what I do is I hardwire. I do have an auxiliary jack uh, built into my car, and so I have my tablet hooked into my car system through the auxiliary jack. Um, and that's how I get the sound from my tablet, into uh, my car stereo. What that allows is it allows me to have my phone hooked up to my car through Bluetooth and therefore if I get phone calls um, or need to make a call I can do all that through my phone, through the Bluetooth, through my car and if I am listening to media then I can listen to the media from my uh, uh, tablet without any problem through the auxiliary jack. So that's the way I look it up. Those are your two options. Those are the things you need to think about and consider. Um, another thing to possibly consider in a future video we're going to talk about using an OBD2 device. Those do connect to uh, your tablet through Bluetooth. So if you're wanting to use your tablet, uh, connect your tablet to Bluetooth through your car as well, you want to make sure that it can be connected to both devices at once. Which it should be able to since the OBD2 does not handle uh, media or sound, it just handles transfer of information. So you should be able to hook up to both of those with no problem. But those are the things to consider. As you can see, it's not just a no-brainer. It does depend on your car, depends on the system you have. Also, obviously, if you have an auxiliary jack or not, how you want to set it up. If you have a really old car with a cassette player, then you could uh, use one of those auxiliary to cassette player and use that the same way as an auxiliary jack as well. Okay, so that's it for sound. Now you want to get your car tablet in the mount and you want to get it hooked up to sound to, to your uh, uh, stereo system because you want to be able to obviously hear your music and stuff through your car's uh, stereo system. So go do that and then come back for the next video. That's going to be it for this particular video. Don't forget to check out my channel, subscribe to my channel, check out my Tasker tutorial series, my Android app reviews, and my product reviews where I've reviewed a ton of cool electronic products and household products and appliances. Lots of fun stuff over there. And uh, that's about it. it until next time. So have a great day and come back for the next one and we'll continue building the ultimate car tablet, Android car tablet infotainment system.